I, I truly can't believe I have to talk about this. I was I was having such a glorious Sunday. I was really enjoying my Sunday. I, I'd done some broadcasts for, for Cal Poly Pomona, where I broadcast during the year. And I get a notification that the U.S. men's national team loses to Panama 1-0 in the FIFA World Cup qualifier. I don't think there is a more infuriating national team that I have to root for than the United States men's soccer team. Because they they might be the most polarizing and inconsistent, yet consistently inconsistent national soccer team I've ever seen. I was just on this show extolling the job that they did to win the CONCACAF, to win the Gold Cup in August. They beat Mexico to claim their their seventh Gold Cup title. Again, this was just after they had reached rock bottom. We were ridiculing them for losing to Trinidad and Tobago four years ago around this same time. We had missed the World Cup for the first time since 1986, and they bounce back. They beat Mexico 2-1. to one. They win the Gold Cup for the seventh time. They now have the second most Gold Cup titles, and I truly believe that they had turned a corner, and I really liked what I was seeing. They, had a lot, they, they still have a lot of really talented young players on this team, and now I'm reminded once again the sober reality that was losing to Trinidad and Tobago four years ago. They lost two to one. Here, here are the last four qualifying games that the United States have played this year. This year, they tied El Salvador 0 0. They tied Canada 1 1. They beat Honduras 4 1. And they beat Jamaica 2 0, which, with the exception of maybe the Honduras game, those other ties to Canada and El Salvador aren't very impressive. So they weren't really looking that impressive in the qualifying matches. And now this, you lose to Panama. The population of Panama, I looked this up, there's 4.4 million people in Panama. For some context, I live in Los Angeles. In LA County alone, there's 9.9 million people in LA County alone, more than double the entire population of the country of Panama and we lose. We lose. There's 300 there's 333 million people in the United States. We lose to a, to to a group of 4 million in Panama. This is no shot at Panama. I'm sorry if there are any Panama citizens listening to this. I doubt it, but if there are apologies. But this is the first loss of the 2022 World Cup qualifiers for the United States men's national team. They only attempted 5 shots. Zero shots on goal. I'm just speechless because this is a team that averaged th- their average margin of victory against Panama in their last five meetings was two and a half goals. In fact, they just faced them in November of 2020 in an international friendly. They won 6 2. Now, I understand that uh, Greg Burlharder, uh, the, the head coach, he uh, he messed with the starting lineup and he inserted a bunch of second string guys. And I know that Christian Pulisic and Weston McKinney and Giovanni Reyna were not playing due to injuries. But still, guys, I hate having to go on here and rant about this team because I, I want to praise this team. I was really excited about this United States men's national team. I truly believe that they had turned a corner and I understand that maybe that population of 4.4 million people, they dedicate all their resources, their athletic resources to soccer, whereas in the United States, it's saturated with so many sports that they don't focus solely on soccer. But this, this is just embarrassing. Once again, extremely disappointing. I'm not going to say it's as just abhorrent as the loss to Trinidad and Tobago. It's not. 
because the United States can still qualify for the World Cup. It's not like this disqualified them. But this is just the latest stream. It just ma- it just makes me livid and enraged, enraged inside. Honestly, it's just like eviscerating my gut because I just every time there's some momentum with this team that I want to root for, they come up a little bit short. And it's only fitting that, by the way, this match was played on exactly the fourth anniversary of that two to one loss at Trinidad. It ended a streak of seven World Cup appearances for the United States. And in fact, that year, that defeat the United States suffered enabled Panama to reach their first World Cup. Think about that. The fact that we lost four years ago to Trinidad and Tobago gave Panama a golden ticket to their first ever World Cup. Just very disappointing. Very disappointing. 